Hi and welcome everybody, my name is Aram. This time I'm talking about 217 lightweights from Canada. The boys have sent me their footage and asked me for some feedback. This is very interesting because at this age, many boys still lack that, you know, physical development. And this is where you learn a lot of technique because the boat and the water and all the elements are actually stronger than you. And especially if you're not an accelerated developer, which is the case if you are a lightweight at least in 90% of the cases I know. Now the interesting thing about Ian is that these two boys roll very well. They have a lot of feeling, but they overwhelm themselves. And where and how to solve this, this is what I wanna talk about right now. Okay, let's let this footage play for a couple of seconds as usual. And it looks pretty smooth, it looks very good. The boat run has actually never stopped. And this brings me to an interesting point. I'm, that crab there, don't worry at all. This is pretty normal. The interesting thing is that you overload yourself here at the catch. And the question is how and why. Let's go back a bit. What looks good is you actually do bring the blades off the water. It could be higher, but it's not bad. The problem is that both of you boys bend your legs pretty early. I keep on repeating this in almost every single video I'm talking about because to me it has the greatest effect. I worked a lot and a lot, I still do a lot of work on the biro with force curves and video, so I do have an idea of what something looks like if it produces this or that force curve. The problem here is, let's go back a couple of frames, that as you move forward, you are actually in a pretty good position because you're so light, but now you'd be ready to catch and the blade is just not in the water. The blade's not ready. You're not connected to the element that will give you enough resistance to propel the boat. Now you could do the following thing. If you were an accelerated developer, the upper body would simply pivot. It is not. You're not accelerated developers, so you are forced to work with a lot of feeling, which is what you guys have. The problem is that your arms and shoulders are not as muscular yet as they will be in two, three, four years. This is why you need to learn proper technique now. And the result is that your hands are simply too high at the catch. You see this? Their hands are actually, if you look at the check the stroke eye, hands are almost as high as your throat. Almost. This is a bit lower, it's better. The problem is not that their hands are high, the problem is why the hands are high. And the hands are high because you're not activating your lat. Your hands are lifted high, 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 high. And you see the force is now traveling around the shoulders. It should be traveling right in there, right into your lat. Let's do this again. Yeah. And this is why, I mean, of course you, you fall to the right now, you fall to port side, that's all okay, but the reason why you fall to port side or to starboard could be any is that but there's too much weight in your oar handles you're you're actually dependent on good weather conditions because if you have good weather conditions the water is flat and you can stabilize your body your balance with flat water what if you don't have flat water you got to stabilize your body with that lower section of the spine just bring the arms up and then start to activate the lat. You sh your, your upper body should not move up at the catch. It just shouldn't happen. Because this way, now all the forces run over the shoulder, as I said before. Okay. How can you solve this quickly now? Step one. Hands out, legs weight. Lower section of the spine forward. You see that here, the stroke guy? Your lower section of the spine actually points backwards. With the bow guy, it's somewhat straight. Maybe I exaggerated a bit here, so it's, it's pointing only a bit backwards, but it is pointing backwards more or less, or it is straight, but it should be pointing forward. And this is not the case, because this here is your main transfer element. I mean, you gotta consider that force, if, let's just go to the catch and let me show you what I mean. Here at the catch, what you want, and you are in the position you actually want to keep right now. 
what you want this force traveling right in there and then ideally you would want force to travel right this way impossible because there is a difference you see this that that bend of your back here the finish the bend of your back here is ineffective same with this with the bow guy this bend right there makes it very difficult to transfer force and this is a problem i see a lot with guys rowing or on these linear arcs you gotta make sure that this lower section is a bit more straight so you want to straighten out this section of your trunk and bring this part and this part to this position and this part i'm referring to is the hip actually it is the seat so that's a classic mistake when, when people try to be long at the catch and they just move the seat forward because it feels like being long but the seat is only indirectly connected to your blades the only thing that is directly connected to your blades is your hand so you got to make sure that your hands are where they want to be and the seat if it's too close to the foot stretchers if this distance is too narrow you get a hunched lower spine and therefore the force transfer is not easy anymore just make sure you don't bring in your seat too closely okay what you do very nicely you compensate in the most effective way you can compensate here because you actually shoot the slides which means you move out the seat without having force connection on the blade is this good no but it is the most effective way to cope with that problem when it's already gotten that far now this might sound very harsh and it sounds like hey you guys don't roll well just give it all up not true this is very good you're young you're young you're not that muscular and that's very good because now you have to learn very efficient technique and you will develop physically and then you know how to roll efficiently so this is a very good stage you guys are in make sure you activate the lap right there make sure you are very compact at the catch make sure your hands don't go up after catch and then you have that nice solid drive position because what you do very well and i have to add this right there you do have a very good idea of how to use the upper body weight you've got that's effective that's very nice around the 90 degree mark this is where you put the emphasis and this is where you use that pivot at the same time this is excellent period this is very very good your problem is just a preparation and the catch yeah you might say that hey we were rushing out at the finish actually you don't wash out a lot and that washing out is mostly caused by the catch Buck. lifting blades lifting the hands and then just let the blade control your arms not effective if you guys used Randall foils your hands would probably be more stable because your blades couldn't go so deep into the water so this may be a good thing for you so Ian great job you and your partner I think you will roll very well in the future and you already do roll very well I'm looking forward to see more of you guys